now we are going to place more furniture such as uh, additional chairs and tables just to make this uh, office space looks a little bit more nicer so let's place go to the base chair here we place two chairs Let's play. Now, if you tap one tap in the same location, just select the tiers, copy, select a reference point, and copy to the next table. And then you can copy also to copy. If you want multiple, you can select multiple, check it. Now we're going to place two chairs also on this side. This component chair. Let's place press space bar. Rotate it. Press this place one. Yes. Uh, okay. Let's place two. Let's see. Let's place it. Let's place four. Later we will adjust based on our dimensions or our properties. Just copy it. Select a reference, copy again, continuously copy. So let's move it a little bit so I can find this. Now let's place some tables on the opposite side. Copy it. Here we're using different commands, so you can practice. Press the page, select it, and select the page. Let's move it again. Move and move it to our preferred location. So now let's make it just nice to have two tables, maybe one table. So let's copy. it. Once it's still highlighted, let's select the next command, which is the page. You can also set the angle, which is one thing. Then you can also move, set it back to close to the wall. Then move it again. Maybe another chair for another table or copy. So now let's copy all these three objects. So we have a set same or typical layout. Copy. Let's select the folder of the form as our reference. Copy again. Now we can also use the mirror command to mirror all this into this space. So let's select this. Control. Press Control. So we can select all the items that we would like to mirror. Now select the mirror pick axis. Now we're going to use the reference is the middle form. So here you have to set copy. Otherwise this will be deleted and transferred into this screen. So let's select the pick axis. See it's automatically uh, transferred to this area, but unfortunately our first table was placed also on the same page. Anyway, let's undo it first. Let's move our table. Now you can set all these three. Select it and move and adjust it to the same. Way. Now let's select this. Press Ctrl while selecting multiple objects. Select mirror command, press select the axis. Now we have set it as a mirror copy for this office here. So now it's getting more and more uh, nicer to look at with full of uh, tables and furniture. Click escape twice. Now you can go to 3D and have a look at our current layout setup. You see it's a little bit further so you can still push it back. So 
so let's go to another one again so the table looks nicer so this is the one that is away from the wall so let's push it back Let's have a few people. It's more spacious on the doors, it looks more nicer. Yeah. So, that is how to place additional uh, furnitures if you want to place in some computers. Unfortunately, some furnitures are not preloaded in Revit, so you have to download created or pre created family types such as computers which you can place above the table. It's a surface base family so you can place it anywhere as long as there is a surface or a face element so that is how to create or add in more furniture in Revit. Thank you.